Hey, welcome back to another edition of the Gargoyles Didn't Die cast. I'm Gargoyle, of course. And today, we're going to do a two-car mashup of the same car. We're going to use these two MIG rigs I came across. Um, trying to decide what I wanted to do with them, I thought about, you know, a quad cab MIG rig, you know, maybe if I cut off the front of this one and made it up with this back of this cab or something maybe kind of like so but then I started thinking about it and I came up with a better idea back in the I think it was 1969 or 1970 they had the T42 which was two T buckets basically butted up back to back with they had, they had the motor in the front, and then they had the cab, and they had the motor in the back, so it looked like it was going both ways. I think I'm going to do the 2024 version of that with these MIG rigs. I'm going to take and chop off this cab, and chop off the back half of this one, and make the two together, and it'd be kind of like a, almost like a the Diora, in a way, or the Diora 2, I guess. But I haven't decided if I'm going to cover the motor and stuff. But I am thinking I might put surfboards on the top too. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, that's the plan. So stick around, stay tuned, and see what I come up with. See how I get there. All right, the first thing I'm going to do here is mark with a Sharpie marker exactly where I want to make my cuts so that I can make it match up as well as possible. And then we'll get them drilled apart and then we'll start cutting with the Dremel. Now I could just say screw it and just try, try to hack through it. But no, that'll look like crap I think. This is bad enough they're plastic bodies. It at least has metal base, but I hate plastic bodies too. It's as bad as having a plastic base. So what's the point at that point, but it's the nature of the beast, I still have to deal with them occasionally. So let's drill out the plastic. Alright, I'm back. Just wanted to get a piece of wood to help protect my uh, cover here. You know, I've already got a hole in it and I already wiped all the grid off of it. And it's trying not to cut it just yet. I'd like to see if it lasts at least a month or two. Alright, let's see if we can get this cut apart. <laughs> Okay, you see here I'm getting ready to cut this with the Dremel. Make sure you have safety glasses on when you're doing this. These discs are really easy to break. Um, a lot of people will use a uh, Dremel saw to do this, or some people try to use a jeweler saw, which is really nice if you're really proficient with them. Um, otherwise, it can come out really bad if you're not proficient with it. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I find Dremel saw, Dremel, and maybe a grinding tool, and I use a file and sandpaper just to get it flat, and you'll see me do all that here.
Would you look at that, folks? I think we're in business, folks. I hope so by now, but, you know, I think we got it whipped. All we got to do is cut down the interior to fit. But first of all, we made up everything. We're going to make a little shout out here, make a person proud, be our buddy Jim Silva, another Jim in the house, that's my name, Garbo, my given name is Jim, but yeah. We are going to break out the JB Will. this yeah
All right, I'm back from Pete. Got everything ready for somebody. I went ahead and put the axles on. As you see, I just dropped them in and dot of uh, glue. And I used my Bob Smith Industries quick set activator or whatever to glue them in. And yeah, it rolls great. So it's ready to go. Um, show you kind of what I came up with for a paint job. It's a pearl red. Then we'll show you the logo I put on the side of it. You can wait until the reveal for that. And that's as close as you're getting to see it. Alright. Be back momentarily for the reveal. And here we are, a one of one full custom Hot Wheels Redline T42 2024 version. All custom. Start out with two MIG rigs, basically cut them in half and spliced them together. It's basically a mashup with two of the same vehicle. Um, reminds me of the Diora. Or, like I said, it's a tribute to the T42, which was also, before it was produced, was called the Witch Way, which is made, what made me think of this one because, you know, you have two steering wheels, etc. So, which way are you going to drive it? So, yeah, just a little uh, glimpse into the madness of my mind. If you like it, hit the like, please subscribe, and stay tuned for any future content. I've got plenty more coming where this came from. Until the next time, that's all, folks. Bye now.